Hi everyone, I'm Kayla. I'm Nancy. And we're Stamping Before Anything Else, aka Stamping Bay, a uh, mother-daughter crafting team that likes to laugh and craft. <laughs> we're so happy that you're here today. We are going to be showing you how to make a really cute card using the stamp set that's called Trusty Tools. And there's some cute DSP, designer series paper, pattern paper, that goes with it. So this is celebration paper. So this is going to be a paper that you can only get during the months of January and February of 2024. Uh, because if you order if you order fifty dollars in product, I think it's a fifty dollar purchase, it is. right? Yes. Um, you could get it for free. So if you're interested in getting that, make sure that you're shopping online so you can get your hands on this. But like I said, through the end of February, which is a leap year, so Crazy. you can order through February 29th, which is so weird. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's that so, weird. So weird. <laughs> Do you know why we have a leap year? No. Why? Or it takes. Four years, four, wait, hold on. <laughs> it takes, obviously, a year to go around the sun, right? And then it takes actually 1.25 rotations to go around the sun. So after 4.25s, that's an extra day. So that's how we have a leap year every four years. Wow. So that's confusing. Fun fact. I learned that in math that in is like crazy. high school. So really, yeah. you still remember that? Yeah, Gosh. I still remember. It. I don't even know who my my math teacher was in well, high school. Mine was Mr. Young. He was really awesome. So I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started making at this cute card. Awesome. Okay, you guys, this is a fun fold. I don't even know what it's Ooh. called, but um, so you got your base here, and this flips open and this bottom comes open down here. So um, I thought it would be fun to use this. I'm just gonna be using the You're the Most Awesome because this could be for anything, for uh, a man. A man. A, a man. 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 Um, doing this masculine card. Uh, you can use it for a birthday, you can use it for a celebration, congratulations, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought this would be a nice universal uh, sentiment to universal. use on. Universal. Universal. That's a new word. Yeah, <laughs> my tongue's having a problem here. Um, anyway, but this is a new bundle that you can get in the mini anec in mini anecdote anecdote <laughs> in, in the mini catalog through Stampin' Up. Um, as Kayla said earlier, we are independent demonstrators. So if you would like a catalog and you don't have a demonstrator, please reach out to us. We'll get one to you. Um, but I love it because all these little dies right here match the designer series paper that you can get right now. Um, I do have a couple of them over here. Um, I did instead of doing in the stamping which you can do as well right here and then color them in either with your colored pencils your markers your blends whatever um, I decided I was going to cut them out from the paper here so I went ahead and did that ahead of time and that's what's on the back side we also have let's see here right here we got tools um, on that as well um, so what I did I have the ones that I used on this card right here already cut out so we're going to need to die cut that and then also on the front here what's really cool is that um this white right here it's kind of gives boards. that pegboard look yeah. so i thought that is so oh, genius it's a die, cut. It's a die right that here is cool. so we're going to use that on one card oh you could use that pegboard for like a craft theme oh card. absolutely oh that would be cool. Okay, now we're yeah. going to do that sometime. All right, so now I'm going to take out my little hammer that goes with that, the measuring tape, and my little wrench, and we got the pencil die right here. And don't get the wrenches confused because there's one that cuts out like a design on like a normal piece of cardstock. Right, right. So we have that. I'm going to bring in our... Stamping shot that I forgot to put over. Stamp and cut in a boss. Oh, machine. yes. Stamp and what cut in a heck? boss. We haven't we had have... a big shot for years. What the heck? <laughs> we haven't. Oh my gosh, you guys. Slap me on the fingers. So, now this piece of paper that we have on here is actually going to be a little bit bigger. Um, and I'm going to show you how we're going to uh, get the, as you can tell right here, <laughs> words are hard, guys. <laughs> words <anecdote>. are hard. <laughs> As you can tell, this is a little bit longer, but we're going to run it through two times um, with this die. So I'm going to lay this this way. Oh, opposite of what you normally do. Just so do. I can make sure I, it's staying and it's not getting all kitty wampus, okay? So I'm going to put these on here. Now for me, I can say, never... Do you guys say kitty wampus or catty wampus or... 
Yeah, I heard caddy. Caddy. Caddy wampus. And caddy I'm like, wampus. Ugh. We say kitty wampus. Kitty wampus. One, because we have kitties. No. Kitties. <laughs> That's the reason why. Oh, totally. The only reason why. No, I'm kidding. Um, but I like to put um, post-it notes on here because I'm not very good at just setting my dies on here. And they move on me, mm -hmm. as they did with my little pencil that I did earlier. So I'm just going to run a couple of these through at one time. And I'll go like this. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, okay. so whoop. hold on. Let me get this You're right started. Handed. I am. I, sh I have this backwards, you guys. <laughs> anyway, so as you can tell, this is not sliding around. Ooh. The stamp and cut in the boss machine is not sliding. Did it move? That moved. Oh no, we're okay. Okay. Must have been in the same spot, yeah. but we're okay on that. All right. So we have that. I'm going to take these two off. Must have been an optical illusion. Must have been. Can you say that? Optical. No. I'm just <laughs> illusion. Uh, optical illusion. illusion. <laughs> yes, I got that one. That one's really easy for me for some reason. All right. So now I'm going to come back in this way. You. Yes. Thank you so much for grabbing those. Now I'm going to tap this up to the side or I can take our take your pick tool with the brush end right here and I can go over the top of this to get those little little bits of pieces of paper out. Little bits. Little itty bitty bits. Okay so now I'm going to place this upside down again. It does get a little messy because of all those little tiny punch holes are coming out. Exactly. So what I did here is I just lined it up again. I just laid my die and lined up the holes Those with the first line right yeah first you can do the first two. and second line whatever works for you now for me when I was doing this again for some reason dies tend to move on me so I'm gonna put a post-it note on there so it doesn't move I'm actually gonna run this through by itself it says it takes up a bunch of room yes it, okay Ooh. hold on I'm having issues there, there we, we go, go. I didn't have it in all the way, you guys. User error. User error. <laughs> okay, so now we got this out. Oh, and it I cut your post It totally it. does, but that's okay. But now we have it all straight all the way around. Ah, that's okay? smart. I would have been like, well, I'm stuck to this size. Well, and, and what happened on this one, and you can barely tell. I need to take an eraser on this to get the glue off, but it kind of cut off Kitty Wampus on that side. So... That was me not using post-it notes. Kitty Wampus. Kitty Wampus. All right, so here we're going to put our pencil on here, and hopefully this does not move on me because it did on my other one. Oh, it did? Yeah, I had to trim it down. Oh, that's okay. Okay. You can't really tell. You can't. Oh, you're the one that makes it, so you're going to see it. You are, Other yeah. Other people won't No see one's going to see that at top, just They're a just tiny gonna bit. They're just going to be like, wow, that's a cool card. That's really cool. Now for these long skinny ones, I like to put them in the machine at Kitty Wampus is the word of the day. At an angle. At an angle. <laughs> <laughs> put them at an angle because it's easier to put them through the machine. So instead of putting them like the pencil the long way Flat, to go through, yeah. um, put them at a at an angle a yeah. little bit. Otherwise the rollers in the machine will just have a hard time like gripping. So that's why it can be difficult. So if you're running into an issue like that, yeah, give that a try. Absolutely. Okay, so there we got our die cutting done. Do -do. You guys, I love this paper. It makes it so easy. You can make a quick card. Instead of having to color all that. Color all the pen in. And I love to color. Don't get me wrong. I really do. I love to. Oh. But when you're in a hurry. When you're in a hurry. Time presses on and you're like, oh my gosh, I was invited to this birthday party. No, I spent, I realized yesterday I was doing a video on our stories, our Instagram stories. If you're not following us over on Instagram, make sure you are. We're at Stamping Bay. Uh, but I was posting a video showing me like coloring and I didn't do the whole thing like, like I didn't show the whole thing. I did it in bits and pieces so you didn't have to sit there and watch me do it the entire time. But it took me 20 minutes oh, wow. to color this little... 
store. Well, and you were trying to, oh yeah, I believe it. Like I was, I was shocked uh, that it took me that long because I went back, looked in, I la la la. Words are hard too. <laughs> I went back and looked at the first one that I posted and it was 19 minutes ago. And I was like, what? Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. It didn't feel, I, am I the only one? I can't be the only one where I feel like time goes by so fast when you're coloring. When you're coloring. Well, coloring, period. Well, yeah, but crafting but, too. Yeah. You're like putting something together and you're like, oh my gosh, an hour has gone by. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess, I guess. Okay, so now we got all these bits and pieces. All the measurements can be found on our blog. Mm -hmm. So the link to that is in the description of the video. Okay, so I'm going to take my crushed curry piece and we're going to adhere this to the base uh, piece, which is our basic black. And I'm just going to use some glue because glue is awesome and it's forgiving and you can move it around. She's crafting at an angle again. I totally am because you're over here, not here. Because <laughs> then I got to talk like this That's and it's fine. easier for me to... That's fine. totally attack like that. Okay. Designer series paper. I'm using the one with the ruler on it, which I think is cool. It's measuring tape, Mom. This is a ruler to me. Measuring tape. You don't use a ruler to measure drywall. You use a measuring tape. I can if I want to. It's a measuring tape. It is. But See, it looks like a ruler on here. This is a measuring tape. Totally could use this as but a paper matches. for a teacher. You, to you totally could. Yeah. You to yeah. Same yeah. with the pencil. Take the pencil. Absolutely. Use that with the teacher. Totally could. Okay. So now we're going to put glue on the back of this. This is going to go on the front of this little flappy thing. As you notice on here, there are hammers. Flappy thing, that's the technical The word. flappy thing in the front, right here. Ta -da! Hammers and nails. Yep, yep, right there. All right, so now we're gonna come in with this piece right here, and we are going to fold it in half, put glue on one side. Make sure that the fold is at the top when you put it down. Yes, exactly, fold at the top, and then you're just gonna center it Eyeball it all the way around, okay? Just kind of center it. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, Unless it'll you're be a perfectionist. Fine. Yes. You so <laughs> there we have that. Um, next, we're going to take our paper. Now, what you can do too is you can buy our adhesive sheets that we have, put it on a back piece of white, uh -huh. and then run it through the die cutting machine so that this whole piece sticky is all sticky, kind of like an automatic. Uh, sticker, if you sticker. will, basically. Just, just to me, sticker. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue all the way around, um, just here and there. Um, you don't have to have it everywhere. Because here, there, everywhere. Here, there, everywhere, wherever you want. Um, it's it's going to be enough glue to hold it down. Yes, tiny, tiny bit. You don't need a whole bunch. I think I'm going to put this one at the top. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, you know, I was just say one of those days. One, you had it like that. Okay. So here we go. We have, see, now I got glue on there. So cool thing, you guys, if you don't have one of these little rubber eraser thingies, I just had one out. I couldn't tell you. I did have a rubber, hold on one moment. One of these cool things that you can get online, they're rubber uh, erasers. You can come on the top here and just erase that glue and it comes right off and if you don't have one of those you can use uh embossing buddy and gently dab it on there once it's dried yes and then it won't be sticky yes so at least it won't be sticky there you go all right so for the inside on this one i just stamped a couple nuts and bolts on there and i think i already have that off to the side we're going to bring in our black ink we are almost done with this card you guys i think i spend more time talking than i do yeah, you do, you do talk. A I lot. do talk a lot. <laughs> I just stamp a couple of them on here. Woo! She went off. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? What do we and do? It's nice because it's the glass mat, it and is. you don't have to worry about wasting paper, and it just wipes up. It just wipes off like that. You guys, so if you don't have it, you gotta have it, honestly. And this is a part of the joining special for Celebration. So through the end of February, February 29th, uh, <laughs> you can get your hands on one of these glass mats when you join our team. So if you want more information on that, make sure to go check out this website. We have all the information listed on there. But we like to have fun with you guys. There's never ever any pressure involved. 
Never, um, never. Just sign up, get the discount, and get your glass mat, and then peace out if you want. <laughs> Absolutely, and it's okay. Stampin' Up! is has no problem with that. We have no problem with that. We want you guys to get a good deal, and getting the starter kit is the good deal. Yeah, so what are okay. you doing? Okay, so now we're going to come in. I put used our uh, embossing buddy on there to take all the fingerprints off, the static cling, all that kind oil of stuff. The oils. from my fingers because I have sweaty hands. You do. <laughs> she always has. I'm sweaty telling you. Okay, so we're going to stamp with our uh, embossing. Uh, oh, good golly. You Versamark. Good lord. She's going to emboss. I'm going to emboss. Using the Versamark and embossing powder. Exactly. So we got our Versamark on there. And now I'm going to come in with our black embossing powder. Okay. The magic sand. And this is the fun part. This is what got me addicted to stamping was heat embossing. Okay. It's like magic. You got that on there. It's all powdery. And then you apply heat to it and then it gets all shiny. It's so cool. I love it. So hold on one moment while Noise we must. alert, if you want to mute the video, you can now, so that way you don't have to hear the heat tool. Exactly. Oh gosh. <laughs> jeez. Oh jeez. Look out, your things are gonna go flying. So you could also, if you get the uh, embossing kit, you can get this cool tweezers that will hold the paper for you. So say if you're working on a smaller a smaller piece of paper, uh, you can use the tweezers to hold onto it so you don't burn yourself. Yep, you get this. This gets hot. You get the embossing buddy that I just showed you, this brush, and... And... Hold on. Oh, why'd you do that? Because you get all this right here as a kid. You're out of frame. Gotta pay attention in this camera. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Fell out of frame, guys. Um, you get all of this um, in one kit. Um, you can find that in the annual catalog. So now that this is cooled down a little bit, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna cut straight across. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's better to use long scissors because that'll help keep that straight line. Okay, Oop, and then I did kind of cut it at an angle, but you know, that's all good. Let's see if I can get that straightened out a little bit. There go. Good enough. All right, so now we're ready to assemble our, our pieces on here. Again, we're just going to use a little bit of Tombow glue on here. I'm just going to place this little guy up at the top. Just crafting at an angle again. I know. I don't know why. <laughs> you guys are over this there. Is kind of <laughs> she likes, I can't. I think you're trying to make room for me, so don't worry about me. I, I maybe, I don't know. I've always done this. There we go. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then we got to put this little guy right here. Cute. Cute, cute. Oops, I didn't get glue on the bottom. She's too, too stressed. That, okay. That is too cute. She had to get on there oh, immediately. Oh, totally. Immediately. Okay, and a little bit of glue on this pencil, which is super duper adorable, and I got an itchy nose. <laughs> Third world problems, I'm telling you. An itchy nose? An itchy nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's an everybody issue. <laughs> Okay, so we have that on there. Did Next, you say third world? Yeah, why did I say third world? You should have said first world. First world. world. I, don't I told you, you guys, I can't talk today. That's Dimensionals. An everybody problem. Oh What's my that? gosh, I tell ya. All right, so here we go. I have mine hanging off a little bit, so I'm going to just kind of skip over that one. I'm not going to put it too close to the end, and I'm using our black dimensionals on here just because um, I thought it would be cool. <laughs> you Everybody's looking ones. underneath those pieces of paper. Oh my gosh, I tell ya. Because it's, you know, black paper and this is black and I don't know, just kind of cool. Well, so it's like, it helps them so they don't stand out as much if you're using maybe a darker piece of paper. Um, like if you were to look under, you can't really see it. You just see like a shadow. Yeah. So, so here it is, guys. It. Isn't it cool? It's I love super it. easy, super quick to do. Um, you do not need to have, have uh, die cutting on there. Mm -hmm. But another cool thing is that if you head over to our blog, yeah. you'll be able to see another example using the same paper, but using a different color scheme. Yeah. So you'll want to check that out as yeah. well. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're so happy that you 
follow it along. And if you did make one of these, make sure you're joining our exclusive Facebook group and you can post pictures of all of your cool creations that you make, even if it's not this one, it's another one that you did. Um, but we will see you in our next video, which we'll post on Monday. Make sure that you don't forget to get that glass mat, our joining special by the end of February. You don't want to miss out because there's no other way to get this. Absolutely. And we don't want you to miss out on it. We don't want you to be in the FOMO group. Uh, so oh, I have FOMO big yeah. time when it comes to certain things. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, otherwise, we'll see you next Monday. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.